if you're a content creator and you don't know how to balance your time with your job or your school and you want to upload consistently on any social media platform youtube instagram or tiktok whatever platform you use then this video is for you what's up on billion gang is divine and welcome back to my youtube channel this video is dedicated to peculiar she commented on my last youtube content creation playlist video try to check out the playlist after this video step one the three b's i'm making this video for you but i'm also making it for myself because i had to do research for this and now that i'm getting knowledge i want to share it with you and i really hope it's helpful before i explain the three b's to you i hope you are writing down something even if you are not writing down you can save this video to watch it later i want you to understand the concept of consistency and frequency consistency is different from frequency when it comes to social media or being an influencer in 2024 consistency has to do with quality and frequency has to do with quantity so if you are a small or beginner content creator you have to focus on frequency you are new and nobody knows who you are nobody knows who you are you have to put yourself out there so that people can get familiar with you and your content if you're already a well-known youtuber or influencer make sure you focus on quality i'll talk more about that in the future but for the sake of this video we're talking about managing time so that you can be frequent in your consistent uploads I hope you understand better now make sure you focus on frequency in order to help you improve with your consistency let's now talk about the three b's three b's are bucketing batching and locking on saturdays i usually have a live stream by six but now i'm shifting my live stream to fridays fridays by 6 a.m i'm officially announcing the date so usually during my live stream i block two hours so that's 6 a.m to 8 a.m blocking is different from bucketing and bucketing is different from batching i will explain better don't worry you are going to understand this concept because it's very important when it comes to content creation let's talk about the first b bucketing you know you're a small content creator or you're a beginner content creator or you don't even have the money to be hiring somebody to edit your video run your social media platform you are doing this all by yourself and you're just starting marketing is going to help you save time and also going to help you to be productive times so marketing is a concept of picking out a day i watch it on this video i'll try to link the video in the pinned comment picking out a day and setting out to do a tax on that day let's say on mondays i film videos on Tuesdays, I edit the videos, the aero, aero clip. If you don't watch my video on how to edit, you can watch that video. On Wednesdays, I add the B-roll. On Thursdays, I export the video and edit the thumbnail. On Saturdays, I optimize the video, SEO, schedule the video. Whatever you set days to do. But I know that some of you might be in school or some of you might be working a 9 to 5 and doing social media. Because if you pick a day to do this, you can actually batch create. And that's, that's what the next B is. If you pick a day to do these things, you can actually batch create. And it will save you so much time. It will save you weeks and extra time to do more research. Also, I pick a day to shoot videos and shoot photos. And shoot for 3 weeks and shoot for 2 weeks. So I can cover up for the next week. What I'm doing right now. Pick a day script out your content you can pick a day to script that i'm scripting out three videos today the next day you could pick you could say i'm filming the three videos today the next day you could say i'm editing one video the next day i'm editing the second video so it could save you time and you can be consistent because if you don't do that you just end up posting once a month once in three months and people don't even know who you are because you are not consistent you are not frequent they don't know you they are not familiar with you you want to be known with the top people in your niche you want to know who you want to be known for see it's very important to understand that people might not know your name most people that even subscribe to my main channel they don't know my name people might not know your name but they will know your face if you are, if you are a face channel even if you are not a face channel even if you don't show your face they will know your content they know how you present yourself so they want you want people to get familiar with you so focus on focus on bucketing a day to do something so if you are in school you could say okay you only have 24 hours in a day on monday i'm waiting one hour to film two videos whether it's shots or reels or whether it is a long form content on tuesday i'm going to edit those videos i said i really want you to get your jota and your so you can start drafting this out at the end of this video i'm going to share with you a draft of what i am doing going forward to september i'm going to show you my draft so make sure you stick to the end the last part is blocking blocking is very important because when it comes to social media people forget that it's actually a job it's even a combination of jobs you have to treat it like it's a job my routine is usually to wake up by 4 a.m lately i'm waking up by 6 a.m and it's crazy and annoying because two hours i could have used to be productive 
are wasted and gone by i feel so even unmotivated to start working because i already wasted time so make it like a job you know you're going to go to your job and you're going to come by whatever time you're going to get to work by this social time this so-called time so take it like social take social media like your job oh you're going to school from this time to this time have this time so by the time i come back from class i'm going to my job you're going to your part-time job it's literally like your part-time job if, if you're in school so if you're at work if you have a um, nine to five is your part-time job so take it like that is once you start taking it like that then you can show up it is very important to show up i rather show up and be in the lowest quality than not show up at all because you are growing is when you become bigger you can focus more on your quality so now what you need to focus on increase your watch hours to increase your views to increase your reach is frequency you need to show up you need to show up block out time this time to this time so everybody even knows you like your friends your family your roommates your colleagues they know that oh this time to this time she's going to do this everybody knows you and if you are still that person that is ashamed to tell people that you have a youtube channel or an instagram page or a tiktok page my dear improve and repent because we're not entering this next quarter of the year with that attitude you have to be proud of your work no matter what people just know okay they have instagram they have tiktok and they have youtube they don't know the things that they have to do you have editing you have scripting you have um, exporting and optimizing seo you have sharing captions description tags research on scripts collaborations if you collaborate with people reaching out to people reaching out to brands brand deadlines all those things so write them out write out what your goals are your tasks that you want to do in batching when you have picked out a day or an hour or time frame are bucketed and are removing distractions sometimes you could even set a timer or a countdown on your phone so you know that oh i have this time I have to be motivated to do this or you could even put a sticky note on your wall and remind you why you are actually doing social media if not you will not be motivated i am telling you i was really in debt and i said so on this channel in my first video i was so motivated to create videos because i knew that i had to pay pay up my debts make sure you block out time if you want me to make a video with a typical day in my life trying to create content but trying to script trying to edit let me know in the comment section all right so step two step two is very important very simple i want you to even stick it in your head this is something that should be in your head every day even while you're at sleep treat yourself like you're responsible to people treat yourself like you're responsible to people whether your family your workers colleagues your subscribers very important see even 10 people watching your videos or two people liking on your videos those are two human beings that dedicated their time to watch your content to subscribe to you and you are deciding not to be responsible to them and saying you're not going to upload this week deciding not to be responsible and show up for them so what's the essence if they subscribe to you my dear show up show up treat yourself like an adult you're not a child anymore treat yourself like an adult i was watching a 14 year old youtube channel's page yesterday and he was talking about how he wakes up by 4 a.m and he schedules out his video content and does he does these things i'm trying to explain to you now and he's just 14 year old you're not a kid anymore you don't need someone to tell you to do something you can lead yourself you can lead yourself to do something so right now get your jota get your journal write it out these are things these are the steps i have to do if i want to be a content creator and influencer in 2024 these are the things i need to do i told you about scripting i told you about everything just follow the playlist this particular youtube playlist on my channel you'll see everything you need to do it's amazing this part of this video i want you to understand that the difference between a social media influencer and a content creator now i'm using them interchangeably but there is a difference an influencer is somebody who influences people and makes money from content creation a content creator on the other hand makes content and might not likely be making money i know you are starting out as a beginner you might not yet be making money but that is the purpose of these videos that i'm putting in this playlist journey on showing you how we can get there to making money from doing the things that we love doing inspiring and impacting people at the same time make sure you comment in the comment section social media influencer and if your goal is not to be a social media influencer just comment content creator let me know in the comment section step three is the most important out of everything i am telling you in this video and it is to be realistic with yourself very very realistic with yourself so there's something i was telling my personal assistant Kike, this Kike's channel so you can check out her channel she's starting out so there's something i was telling Kike about time management when it comes to editing and it is to 
upload make sure you show up so let's say because it takes me a lot of time to edit videos because i there's there's just a feeling there's a branding i want my videos when i'm not when i don't edit my videos where i know how they turn out and sometimes you know what's crazy about youtube and social media it might not be the best edited videos that blow up this is what i told kike it's good to edit very very good but the first thing you have to focus on when write it down write write this down now the first thing you have to focus on when it comes to editing your hook your hook is the first intro of your video relating to your audience the person and what they need your hook then the body of your content including your points then your call to action that is all that those are three things you need to focus when you're editing and shooting a video your hook the body of your content and the call to action the call to action can be anywhere in the video but focus on your hook because that's how you want people to get into watching the videos the algorithm analyzes videos most of the time so focus on your hook and develop your points and your call to action by the time you are done editing your hook even if you are not done editing your points and you latest thing on youtube now is easy editing you've rough cut your points and you have your call to action ready and your hook is well edited my dear you are good to go but make sure you keep in efforts to try to edit everything as best quality as possible but when you see that you don't have time to edit the rest of the body as much as the way you edited your hook don't stress make sure you meet to your schedule to upload that week make sure you meet up with your schedule to upload that week make sure you i'm saying this again make sure you meet up with your schedule to upload that week export your video and your thumbnail your good thumbnail and you are ready yes on that point I think I have like 15 video tips on YouTube, particularly YouTube, to help you with the algorithm. I think that I'll do for next month's YouTube content. Be realistic with yourself. What do you use to upload your videos? Do you have a Wi-Fi connection or do you use your data? Be realistic with yourself because I know how much I've spent on data and I know how much my dad's Wi-Fi has saved my life. Be realistic with where you're shooting your videos. How are you shooting your videos? Do you have enough storage on your phone? Be very, very realistic with yourself. Nobody's going to tell you. Do you have time to even shoot up to three videos a week? Do you have time to upload up to two videos on TikTok a day? Be realistic with yourself so it will help you to draft out your plan. And that is what we're going to do right now. We're going to draft out our plan together. That was do it together. Like I told you, be realistic with yourself. Be very, very realistic. You know, they say set smart goals. Specific, measurable, actionable realistic and time-bound goals very simple you guys should know that by now i'm going to do this with you so that you can do it by yourself i don't procrastinate and say i'm going to do it later do it now 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 in africa when when somebody says now now they mean it fast as possible like asap i use three social media platforms oh my god i use three social media platforms and it's very important when it comes to content creation focus on using one main platform one main platform and two other secondary two to three other secondary platforms you can expand your horizon when you have an agency or you have workers or you have freelancers they can pay to do all those tasks for you but if you're working by yourself you have to focus on one main platform because that's how people, you want people to know you f- solely from that platform before they think of other platforms and for me that is youtube because compared to other platforms they are not as sustainable as google or youtube youtube is my main platform and i would advise that you use youtube as your main platform but if you are not so good at long-form c- content yet then focus on either of these two popular platforms tiktok or instagram i recommend tiktok over instagram since you're starting out because it's easier to grow faster on tiktok than instagram there are different content you can upload on youtube you have um long-form content you have community posts or polls you have short-form content live streams so it's up to you to know how you are using your YouTube channel. For this channel, I usually upload live streams. I don't upload shots on YouTube. I know that people are into shots now because it's a trending thing. But I believe shots has its own audience. People that watch short form content are not likely interested in your long form content. They know you for your short content. So if you are going to be uploading shots on YouTube, make sure that you're so focused. Most big influencers like mr beast or even um, mkbhd they have personal short channels they have like personal dedicated channels for shorts because they know people that are watching shorts and scrolling to shorts they are focused short form not long form so that's why i'm not really interested in growing my audience on youtube with shorts but lately i've been watching a lot of youtube views and people have talking about how shorts help their channel to grow if you know how to balance it 
definitely try it out but now you don't know how to balance your time so please don't 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 you're still growing when you have a big audience that's when you can start using shorts but if you want to you can try it the goal is to upload one community post and one video every week i also do live streams on my second channel but that's based on my hair growth challenge so this month i'll be having a live stream on third first next month i don't think i'll be live on youtube on my second channel for this channel i should upload four live streams every month four videos four to five videos every month four community posts that's a lot please don't, don't create a second youtube channel if you're not balanced out your first channel so focus on one thing before you go to the other i will even advise that before you start creating instagram or tiktok platform just focus on your youtube first off the followers on your youtube that will go and follow you on those other platforms so focus on handling one before you go to the other and overstretch yourself like me. now that we've done youtube and we know what we are creating every month let's go to instagram so on instagram i heard that people should upload twice a day every day and that's crazy because it's not realistic for me and i'm very very realistic i go from like 300 and something followers on instagram to 1000 followers on instagram and i was only uploading one video every two days one video every two days Instagram is not even about followers instagram is about your reach you could have a whole lot of followers but your reach is very low so focus on your reach on instagram july to august i've learned that posting two videos a day then a break day then two videos so let's say i post on monday i'll post in the morning and in the night then i'll skip tuesday then post on wednesday in the morning and in the night sometimes you might not be able to post two videos in a day so just make sure you show up with one video at one video at least and make sure that you are using your stories and that's one thing i'm learning on instagram make sure that you are using your stories not to re-upload the video you already posted but to share how your day your business is going your life is going to share things to share that's what stories were meant for is sharing what is happening in your life it could even be to share funny things use your stories for building your community at least minimum of four content maximum of six content a week the reason why i don't want to overdo myself i don't want to burn out focus on stories and interacting all the social media platforms i'm talking about they like you also engaging because it shows authenticity that you're not a robot instagram and tiktok same thing some people like to create separate content for tiktok that's cool that's cool they have the time they have the time they can do themselves but me i can't do that i don't have the time for that i don't i don't have the strength for that more or less time so i'm repurposing my instagram content to tiktok and that's another reason why i don't upload shows because if you if you are watching the same thing on instagram tiktok and youtube what's the essence if you want to watch short form content of me go and watch it on instagram or tiktok on tuesdays i'm uploading on tiktok do you understand so on monday i upload on instagram tuesday i upload on tiktok wednesday i upload on instagram thursday i upload on tiktok friday i upload on instagram saturday i upload on tiktok do you understand so there is a break in between and the algorithm can push out the content and i'm not burning out myself trying to upload on these two platforms at the same time i'm helping myself to be frequent and show up and to be consistent and i'm helping myself not to burn out i recently heard on um tiktok that's like they are boosting out stories on tiktok so make sure you're using your stories and you're engaging with your community on your stories i'm telling you guys this story thing because i actually saw interaction with my audience on instagram and tiktok from stories so definitely try it out so now that we already have how many content to upload in a week you can draft it out in your calendar to so youtube you're uploading four videos in a month write out the months and write out the days of your upload next month is september so just use this now to schedule out for september so let's use youtube as an example on youtube you're uploading four videos in a month and four community posts and four live streams so i already know for me my live stream is just studying and the live stream live stream like i don't have to prepare for my live stream i am literally studying and studying there i know the time of the live stream so last thing my my live stream is on fridays right by 6 a.m so on thursday i'm going to schedule the live stream when i'm about to do the live stream i'll edit the thumbnail and for the community posts schedule out your community post on youtube there's a place you can schedule your community post you schedule it out whether it's a poll you want whether it's a question whether it's photos you took on instagram you can share it on your community post for september all the tuesdays first week the second week mark it out this is what i'm uploading this day this is what i'm uploading this week the main videos the titles the thumbnail and the body of the videos write it out for this next quarter of the year we have four months left you don't want to be uploading inconsistent videos that don't match out with 
your channel now i'm uploading this video i'm uploading now on youtube is, is about youtube next week's video is not going to be about youtube but i'm going to find a way to synchronize it to youtube so it could be a week in my life as a content creator or something like that something of that sort or how to balance your time how i'm balancing my time as a content creator something of that sort so that it can synchronize the three pillars of my channel i'm trying to vlog share my content creation journey and i'm also trying to motivate myself so those are three pillars of this so-called channel so everything is still in line with the channel's branding if your channel is not synchronized together even if you are uploading how to cook let me give you an example like ccme ccme uploads vlogs on her channel but she also uploads cooking videos but it's a way she, she synchronizes her family into her vlogs and her cooking videos so people already understand the brand not everybody might watch her vlogs that watch her cooking videos but it's still synchronized to her brand you understand so for the next four months that's what you should do let's talk about how to get this content because i know people still run out of content ideas let's check for 10 people 10 big people in your niche you might never have a niche 10 people that you really watch and their content is similar to you for their most popular videos on instagram tiktok or youtube then check how you can recreate those videos friends on tiktok and instagram if you go on your instagram page if you go to your professional board on instagram you will see similar accounts to you see the content they are making you see trending audios see the content under trending audios you see audios pop audios that are popular with your followers very important audios that are popular with your followers click on those and see content that people are making there then save four to six content that you want to create for the next week if you understand you understand and if you get it you get it and if you're not somebody that is into trends make your own personal videos that are very impactful and valuable without focusing on the in audios trust me to still do well you might be seeing low views on your videos because of your frequent your frequent it doesn't matter because let me tell you one thing about social media that i've learned on instagram tiktok and youtube it just takes one viral video to help your other videos and to help you gain followers you have one viral video people come to your channel and they start watching other content and they subscribe or they follow you but if you don't have anything down already what are they following for there's nothing to follow for that's why you see people that have like millions of views and they don't have followers or subscribers because of they don't have content down for people to watch and people are not interested because they don't have content down and they are not interested focus on building your portfolio don't worry the time is going to come when you have one viral video that is going to help your watch hour and if you run out of content ideas make sure you check out this video because in this video i explain how i got monetized and how i grew my watch hours this is very very simple you can do it don't be ashamed you can always delete or unlist any video that doesn't go viral 